Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to explain a problem on homogeneous system. See the statement. Solve the following system of equations. These are the given system of equations. Clearly, three equations are given in the three variables x, y, z. This is the first equation, second equation and third equation. Already in earlier video, we discussed about the how to solve given system of homogeneous equations. First of all, we have to write the matrix form. After that, by taking the coefficient matrix A and we have to reduce that coefficient matrix A into echelon form. By applying only row operations, we have to reduce the coefficient matrix capital A into echelon form. After getting the rank, we have to compare the rank of A with the number of unknowns. Okay, that is the procedure. So, first of all, write the matrix form. So, the matrix form of given system of equations given system of equations is we know that ax is equal to o so clearly we are observing that all right side terms are all right side constants are zeros that's why given system is said to be homogeneous system if all constants in the right side are not zero then given system is said to be non homogeneous system already you know it Okay, so what is A here? In capital A, we should write the first row as coefficients of the first equation. So, 1, 2, minus 1. Next, second row is the coefficients of the second equations. 2, 1, 1. Next, third row is the coefficients of third equation. 1, minus 4, 5. So, what is capital X? Column variable matrix X, Y, Z is equal to 0, 0, 0. Okay. And one more important thing is, suppose if any equation does not contains this variable, then instead of coefficient of Z here, you should replace it by 0. Don't forget it. Okay. Suppose Y is not present in the equation, then Y coefficient is 0. Don't forget it. So, consider the coefficient matrix coefficient matrix is capital A is equal to 1 2 minus 1 2 1 1 1 minus 4 5 so we have to reduce this matrix A into a clone form for that purpose by taking by using this first element we have to make below two elements to zero. We have to reduce this both elements to zero by using this first element. So, what are the operations in this regard? R2 implies R2 minus, since it is two, you should multiply the first row with two and subtract from second row. In the third row, since both the elements are one, we have to just subtract them R3 minus R1. These are the operations. So, with this above operations, given matrix A becomes to how? So, first row is similar row 1, 2, minus 1. So, 2 minus 2. We are multiplying the second row. Sorry, first row with 2. Don't forget it. R2 minus 2 R1. 2 minus 2, 0. 1 minus 2, 2 are 4. What is 1 minus 4? 1 minus 4 is nothing but minus 3. And 1 minus of minus. 1 into 2. So, 1 plus 2 it would be 3. Now, what about last row? 1 minus 1, 0. Minus 4, minus 2. It would be minus 6. And 5 minus of minus plus 1. 5 plus 1 is also 6. Now, by using the second element, we have to make this element to 0. So, R3 implies R3 minus. You should multiply the second row with 2 because 2, 3 is 6. So, with the above operation, A becomes to 1, 2, minus 1, 0, minus 3, 3, 0. Both rows are same. So, surely we will get last row is 0. Okay. Minus 6 plus 6, 0. 6 minus 2, 3 is 6. So, 6 minus 6 is 0. So, clearly last row is 0. So, A is in echelon form. A is in echelon form. Now, so. Rank of A is equal to 
number of non zero rows only first two rows are the number of non zero rows that's why rank of a is 2 but what is n number of variables what are the number of variables in the given system x y z so n is equal to 3 so n is equal to 3 right right we are observing that rank of a is less than number of unknowns 3 so what is the conclusion from the procedure if rank of a is less than n then given system given system you should write that given system has an infinite number of solutions and infinite number of non zero solutions don't write only solutions non zero otherwise non trivial solutions okay now it is enough to find out that infinite number of non zero solutions now see i will explain that part in this side see now from this last matrix from this last step we have to write the system of equations now again okay so from the last equation last matrix given system of equations given system of equations can be written as okay they will get another form first equation is same same which is x plus 2y minus z is equal to 0 okay because this is the coefficient of x this is the coefficient of y and this is the coefficient of z since these are all homogeneous system of equations right side should be 0 what is the second equation 0x minus 3y plus 3z is equal to 0 take it equation number 2 and 3 because the given system is you can take given system as 1 okay now here we are observing that since rank of a is less than n then the number of linearly independent solutions of the given system of the given system is n minus r what is n number of variables 3 what is the r rank of a so it would be 3 minus 2 it is 1 so number of linearly independent solution is only one it means that among the given variables x y z we should give a an arbitrary constant k otherwise lambda to the any one of the variable you can take x is equal to k otherwise y is equal to k and z is equal to k as you wish just give a parameter to any one of the variable out of three variables suppose here you will get rank of a is equal to 2 but number of unknowns is 4 then the number of linearly independent solutions is 4 minus 2 in that case number of linearly independent solutions is 2 in that cases you have to take two variables to two parameters okay so here in general we can take last variable is k k is a non-zero constant k is a non-zero constant we need the non-zero solution that's why i am taking a non-zero constant if you are not interested about taking k you can take lambda as you wish so from equation number three what happened minus 3y plus 3k is equal to zero so 3 3 gets cancelled minus y is equal to minus k so y also k y is also k and what about x value from the equation number two x is x 2y is nothing but 2k z is also k you will get zero so 2k minus k is plus k that's why x value is minus k x value is minus k so finally capital x is equal to x y z is equal to you should write the solution in this way so minus k k k otherwise k into minus 1 1 1 this is the required solution this is the required general solution because k is a parameter it may be 1 it may be 2 it may be anything if you give different values for k you will get different solutions for x okay don't forget it the quite general solution of the given system one in this way we can easily solve the 
given homogeneous system so methodology is very very important so students have to sincerely follow the methodology first of all we have to take the coefficient matrix and we have to reduce it to eclan form after that we have to note down the rank this is the first part after getting the rank we have to compare the rank of a with the number of unknowns n suppose both ranks are equal maybe you may get a rank of a is equal to 3 number of unknowns is also 3 in such cases we should conclude that given system has only zero solutions so students have to write x is equal to 0 0 0 is the only solution it is enough in that case suppose rank of a is less than n we have to take equations and uh, we have to observe the number of linearly independent solutions n minus r according to number of linearly independent solutions we have to give parameters to the variables since here we are getting linearly independent solutions is only one that's why i am giving one variable to one parameter suppose n minus r is two you can take two variables is equal to two different parameters k1 and k2 okay in this way we can easily solve it in the next video i will give another example on solving system of homogeneous equations thank you very much